Today we're making this delicious five minutes instant no freezer no machine ice cream. I saw this on Jerry James Stone. I'll put his channel in the description box of course and I had to share it with you because it's fun and absolutely amazing. It is a bit tricky but I'm gonna show you how you can go from this to this in five ten minutes. Okay, so what I have here is a mixture of heavy cream and milk. I really do like to use both for this recipe because a mixture of both gives the ice cream a perfect texture and richness. I've also added vanilla and sugar and you want to give this a good mix until the sugar dissolves. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. Once the sugar has dissolved, we're going to take this vanilla ice cream base and pour half of this mixture into a Ziploc bag because with the other half, we're going to make chocolate ice cream. Now you do want to use a good Ziploc bag. If you have silicone ones, even better because they're sturdier, but make sure they seal properly. The reason I'm saying this is because I myself have reusable Ziploc bags. However, unfortunately, the zip doesn't close properly. So if that's the case for you, just make sure you use any good Ziploc bag that's durable and closes properly. Okay, so you're going to pop this into the fridge while we make the chocolate ice cream base. This is super simple because we're going to use the same base and just add cocoa powder to it. Now I do recommend you make a slurry instead of adding the cocoa directly into your ice cream base. So start by mixing a few tablespoons of the liquid mixture with the cocoa until you get a smooth paste, which we're then going to add to the remaining base. By doing this, you'll avoid lumps and your ice cream will be silky smooth. You're going to take this chocolate ice cream and pour it into another durable Ziploc bag, making sure again to seal and close it well. Okay, so at this point comes the fun part. We're going to make the instant ice cream, which is super simple, but I'm going to share with you some tips as we go along. You'll need another Ziploc bag, which has to be larger than the other ones because we're going to put the ice cream bags into the larger bags. We're going to make the vanilla one first, so you do want to make one at a time. You'll also need need some ice. You may need more as we go along, so keep that in mind. I've also added the salt. The salt is crucial because it reduces the temperature of the ice water so the ice cream will freeze within minutes. Now the reason this also happens is because the amount of ice cream we're making today is one serving, so it freezes quickly. If you were to double or triple this recipe, most probably it would not work unless you use lots more ice, lots more salt, and you have lots more patience. In that case, I would just make traditional ice cream and then pop it in the freezer overnight. Consider this more of a fun science project to do with kids because they get to see and experience the whole process of turning milk and cream into ice cream within five minutes. It's really awesome to see and eat afterwards, of course. You'll have delicious ice cream within minutes to enjoy. Like I said, you may need more ice along the way. You want to wrap the bags in a towel because this is cold and you want to shake the bag, rub the bag, making sure the ice water comes in contact with that ice cream bag. Now you have to be patient with it, but I promise you this will eventually turn into ice cream. I was amazed as shocked. Now, Jerry James Stone, which again, um, the link to his video will be in the description box, did say this would take around five minutes. Mine took around 10 minutes. I think it just depends how well you're able to shake the bag and how well the ice water comes in contact with the ice cream bag. I do want to say that, but regardless of the time, you know, five, 10 minutes, you'll have this amazing ice cream. This will be more of a soft serve, so you do want to eat this immediately. I had so much fun making this. The inner child in me was screaming during the whole process. The ice cream was delicious and creamy and I absolutely loved it. Now again, I will say if you're going to make ice cream for your whole family, I would just go about it the traditional way of making it. I wouldn't use this method because I do think it works because it's such a small amount of ice cream. However, if you do want to have a go at it, please do because it's fun delicious and you'll get to eat ice cream within 10 minutes. Serve immediately and enjoy this delicious creamy ice cream.